Hey fishies! Hi Pisces! Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your reading, your timeless reading, to see what messages are coming through. Remember, please take what resonates with you, leave the rest. If this doesn't resonate with you, there's tons of Pisces readings that can resonate with you in the channel. I'm trying to post one daily or like every other day. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for um, those who participated in the live stream. That was so fun. I'm really looking forward to doing more of those. So, it may be a little loud, guys. There's a lot going on in the apartment at this point, so bear with me, please. <laughs> Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. I'm taking all the cards that fall on the table, not the ones that fall. Alright? Spirit, universe, guides, ancestors, help us help Pisces with all of the most relevant, necessary messages that the collective needs to hear right now. is Pisces needing to hear right now? What is going on with Pisces? Alright, let's see what we have here, my lovelies. Okay, we got the Two of Swords. Let's start with that. So the Two of Swords, as you know, probably, if you're a Pisces and you are in my channel, <laughs> you probably already know a little bit of tarot by now. Um, the Two of Swords is a tough decision that needs to make, or a tough bunch of little decisions or big decisions that need to be made, and that you don't have necessarily the clarity for right now. So this may feel like bouncing from one perspective to another. This may feel like comparing two possibilities or more. This may feel like you're blindfolded and like you don't have all of the answers to all of the questions that you need. Guys, let me close the door real quick. Let me pause the video. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was unnecessarily loud, so I had the door open. So yeah, this may feel like you're comparing, you are evaluating, you're thinking about things. You may feel like you're blindfolded and you just haven't received the light or the insight that you need just yet. So you're thinking like, well, I could do this, I could do that, we could approach this this way, or that way, or that way, or that way. And you're just kind of like going through um, the motions of some kind of decision making. Now, it is not necessary for you to make this decision fast, and it is, or decisions, because some of you are dealing with plenty of decisions. You don't have to make them fast, you don't have to choose right now. And also, very important, you do not have to experience the anxiety that comes with the feeling of pressure to make a decision, okay? Drop that right now. Take a deep breath and drop it. What will be, will be. And you have all the time in the world to make these decisions. Just think about it that way. Even if it doesn't feel that way, even if that doesn't make sense to your logical mind, just... Repeat this to yourself. I have all the time in the world to make these decisions and I don't have to make any decision abruptly or um, faster than I'm ready for. Then we've got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Water. The Nine of Cups is a card of feeling at ease, feeling relaxed. And what I'm getting here is the same that popped up a few days ago. Some Pisces are actually having a really good time. Some Pisces are quite relaxed in their daily experience. It's kind of like a mixed thing because I know that many of you also go through like very deep heartache and soul ache sometimes. But I'm, I'm speaking more about the superficial day-to-day -day feeling. So maybe you woke up in a good mood. Maybe you're not really worried about the coronavirus, you know. Maybe everyone around you is freaking out, but you're kind of all right. And that's what I'm feeling with this card. Like, that is the space to be. Don't feel like you need to be worried because others are. Don't feel like you're a better person for being worried and drained. You know, don't think that you are better a better person because you're worried about other people in regards to the coronavirus. You can be at peace. 
you can be relaxed, you can be happy. There's no need to add more burden, okay? And I know that for many of you, that's a no-brainer. Many of you are like, Katie, I got this. I know exactly what you mean. No stress here. But there's some of you who are actually really stressed out. And th this message is for you guys. For those of you who feel the need to make you feel more worried than you already are. Like, those of you who are like, I should probably be more stressed out. I should probably be more scared. Or I should probably be more alarmed. Or, you know... Some of you are going through that. Very few, but some. Then we've got the Five of Water, which kind of like ties up into this. There's no need to see the negative. I mean, it's not like you don't see it. You see it. You see it. You see everything that's going on. It's, it's hard not to. And I mean this in your own personal life. And I also mean this in the collective in the world. You see what's going on. There's no need to dwell on it. There's no need to cry over spilled milk. There's no need for you to add more stress to your plate. On the contrary, if you can find things that make you feel better, Pisces, now it's the time. Now it's the time. For me personally, and I know that this is not the case for everybody, and I know that not everybody gets a chance to, but for me, this quarantine has been an opportunity for me to take care of my physical body. So I've been doing a lot of like facials and face masks and scrubs and things I do with whatever's in the kitchen, right? Um, and it's, it's been lovely, you know? And I know that not everybody gets that opportunity. I know and I recognize that I'm very, very, very lucky that I have the chance to do that. I know that there's people that are very, very, you know, that are struggling right now. I'm totally aware of it and I'm not saying that, you know, it's going to be easy for everybody. What I'm saying is that if if you find yourself in a position in which you can rest, in which you can take downtime, in which you can nurture yourself, if you are one of the lucky people that can get to do that, then please do. That's what I'm saying. Now we've got the three of air. Some of you guys actually need this space, this downtime, extra sleep extra nurturing to your body, mind, and soul, you need this because you're actually going through something heavy. This is a three of swords. So this is a heart of this is a card of heartache, difficulty, suffering, pain, emotional distress. Some of you guys have, as we talked in the live stream and in the in the reading that speaks about exhausted Pisces, some of you guys are deeply in it, going through difficult times. There's a saying that goes, if you're going through hell, keep going. Because eventually you're going to like come out the other side, right? So for those of you who are struggling, for those of you who are um, really, you know, having a hard time, I recommend you watch the live stream that we did, I think, yesterday or, or the day before. And also the reading for Exhausted Pisces, especially the second half of that reading. That's going to serve you immensely, guys. I can't tell you how... Grateful I am for every one of you that has sent emails and messages and comments about it. Because I know, I, I knew when I was doing it, by the second half of it, that it was, it was necessary and it was very intense. So I'm very glad that um, Spirit felt the need to bring that message to all of us. And if you haven't seen it and you feel exhausted or heartbroken or like life is just too much right now, please watch it. It's going to help, I promise. Okay, so we've got also the Seven of Earth. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Seven of Cups. We've got the Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, so the Empress has been super present in Pisces readings. The Empress, I have come to understand it as the queen of all queens. The seed of fertility. The energy that whatever it's touched by the Empress turns into gold. But in a different way, like in a feminine way. It's like everything is given to you. When you trust and align yourself with the universe, when you sync up your vibration with the energy of abundance, of ease, of beauty, 
of peace of mind, peace in your heart, certainty that everything is taken care of, certainty that the universe has your back, then it's like you open the gates of abundance to flow through you. And not only prosperity and physical abundance, but abundance of love, abundance of beauty, abundance of resources. The Empress is the feminine. So Pisces, right now, if you're experiencing difficulty, if you're experiencing heartache, if you're stressed out about something, or something is becoming too heavy, as I mentioned earlier, if you focus on your feminine, on your, on your rest, on your recovery, on your peace of mind, your nurturing, it's like by doing that, you're going to get ahead faster than if you just put the masculine work in, if that makes sense. So this is a time in which you can actually look at what you have done, look at what you have accomplished, and just see where you want to go. This is a time in which you get to be patient, you get to go slow, you don't have to push for things to happen. On the contrary, the less you push, the more they flow. It's a time of healing, like nothing in the physical world right now is as important as you taking time for you, resting, healing, and allowing this confusion, because I feel like there's kind of like a mental fog or a confusion or just a lack of clarity in regards to those decisions that you want to make. Just sit in it. Just, just sit in it. You don't have to decide anything right now. Allow yourself to feel confused. Allow yourself to feel and look around and say, Wow, look at this point in my life. Look at how things look, feel. I wonder where the universe is taking me. I wonder what am I ultimately going to decide. I wonder all the blessings that are going to come through this. You know, what are they going to feel like or what they're going to look like. It's a space to have, you know, just no pressure on yourself, Pisces. No pressure on yourself. Just, I can't say enjoy the ride, because I know that many of you are going through a ride that is not necessarily pleasant. Just make sure you're on your side. Make sure that you are giving yourself everything that you need and that you're not just another external force or internal force putting more pressure. You have to be the nurturer of you in order to be able to handle all of the exterior forces coming in, pressuring you, making you feel afraid. You, your own inner voice cannot be also another force pressuring you. Like you have to be on your side. You have to be the one that um, protects you from that. Does that make sense? I hope that that makes sense. Right now, even if you take the time, even if you go slow, even if you take a moment to pause here with the Knight of Pentacles, you're still being way more productive than a lot of people, <laughs> which is like super ironic. But Pisces have that. I don't know why. It's like when the quarantine is over and when the lockdowns are over, even if you choose to take as much time for yourself as possible, it's like when we all come out of it, you're going to see that you're somehow ahead of many people. Like... Your dreams, you continue to nurture. Your goals, you continue to nurture. And they grew. Whether you were putting in an effort or not, they still grew. People perceive you as someone who's wonderful at multitasking. People perceive you as someone who is um, kind of like a natural-born leader. Natural-born celebrity in some area. It's like you draw attention to you. And it's like... What people see, Pisces, is that you're successful even without trying. What they don't know is all the things that you have been through that has allowed that to be the case. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, with an Aries, with a Sagittarius. 
This person has a pure heart. Strong heart. Lots of passion. Lots of drive. And lots of drive to help you heal the world. If that makes sense. For some of you. Remember that this is not all going to resonate with all of you. So just take what resonates. Right now, with the Knight of Pentacles here, you're definitely feeling like you're in a standstill. Whether that is something that you are choosing, as I mentioned, to nurture yourself, or whether this is something that is imposed on you, you feel like you are stuck, for better or worse. Meaning, like, if you're stuck negatively, you feel like you are powerless, or you feel like you're just overwhelmed with the emotions. You feel like you're not moving forward. And if you're stuck, you know, positively or consciously, that means that you're taking a pause to strategize, to think about the future, just feel your way through something. Could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus. But now, Pisces, you're going to reach a higher level of power because you're going to have, for the first time in several years, very good company around you. You're going to have people who actually lift you up. People that really provide additional energy for you. In the past years, I feel like maybe you've been around people who actually needed you to help them. But now, it's like there's people here that are coming in to help you. It's like divine justice that way in, in some shape or form. So I love that. I, I feel like that it's going to take you really far very soon without having to make that effort that you're so used to. Like Things are going to get easier from now on. That's basically what I'm saying. Things are going to get easier from now on, professionally, financially, energetically. Things are going to become easier for you from this point on. Even if that makes a complete contradiction to what's going on in the world around us. You Pisces know that we are not bound to the physical laws as much as we think we are. So um, I assure you things are going to get better. And I'm not just saying that because I know that some of you guys are struggling. No, I actually see that right now. <laughs> so that's good. So yes, my fishies, um, that's what I have for you guys today. It's a little bit of a shorter reading. I enjoyed the live stream like so much. I can't wait to do it again. However, it was very um, exhausting for me. I guess I was really tense just trying to see all of the chats going so fast. And it was kind of crazy, especially because it was the first time I <laughs> didn't know how it worked. Um, but I can't wait to do more lives. Please comment below if you have any ideas um, for the lives. I enjoyed the Q&A version of it. Like I enjoyed um, having questions asked about myself and my personal life and, you know, like for us to get to know each other. And I also enjoyed that there were some questions that were probably useful for like everybody as far as like energy and, and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to be doing that more often. I loved it. Um, I'm going to leave the website under this video in the description box in case any of you want to participate in the Abundance Blueprint course or the Regression Immersion. The Regression Immersion is basically having me as your past life regression therapist at home <laughs> in the form of audio recordings that are super powerful. The Abundance Blueprint is basically a course to help you align yourself with the energy of abundance and burst through those limiting beliefs that are probably holding you back in finances. Okay, so, so that's the specific um, goal of that particular course. Everything is going to be in the description box and the website. And yeah, thank you guys for all of the emails that you have sent. I am currently responding to all of them with my assistant. Know that I am reading the messages. Some of you have questions. Um, like how, how does your assistant play a role in this? She just facilitates um, the answers. How can I say this? She... We have a WhatsApp conversation, and what she does is she copy-pastes all of the emails that go into the inbox one by one to the WhatsApp, and then I answer them through voice, and she just types it and sends it. Okay, so it's just a way for it to be faster for us because there's a lot of messages coming in through this channel and the Spanish channel. It is my response. I do read the messages myself and respond myself. She just helps me type them, okay? So that's, that's how, you know... It plays a role, but it's me, <laughs> basically. Like, no worries about that. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I have to say. If any of you feel like um, saying thanks 
to Dorsa for her hard work. That's D-O-R-S-A, Dorsa. She's my assistant. She is spectacular. I can't even tell you how much she's helping me. So if you guys, by any chance, want to send a little email like, thanks Dorsa for all you do. Um, thank you for helping Katie. You know, like that would be so special. I think that would, that would totally like lift her mood up. And I think it's it's difficult times for everybody, so we all need a little <laughs> a little extra love. So if any of you want to do like a nice little thing today and reach out, the email is awakenedwildchild at gmail.com. I love you guys. Bye.